Hello friends, welcome back to ultrasound teaching videos with Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan. So again, I'm with you for the differential diagnosis series. And uh, today I'm going to discuss about the hepatomegaly and differential diagnosis of the hepatomegaly. In this list, I will discuss about the differential diagnosis for the hepatomegaly. On the ultrasound imaging, if you come across that liver is more than 15.5 centimeter at length, in cardiocranial di diameter so you can label that as a uh, hepatomegaly so enlarged liver or hepatomegaly could be due to multiple factors it could be due to neoplasm it could be due to degenerative processes it could be due to myeloproliferative disorders could be infective or could be because of the storage disease which commonly we are labeling as in a fatty liver which is a storage disease but it's not only the fatty liver there are certain other storage diseases as well raised venous pressure like because of cardiac failure because of renal failure there will be hepatomegaly and beside this there should be some congenital issues as well so how we can label out there uh, all these uh, how we can disintegrate these and uh, differentiate from one another so this list is going to explain it to you so let's start watching the differential diagnosis for the hepatomegaly hepatomegaly are in large liver differential include neoplastic activity the top one is metastasis Due to metastatic deposits, liver get enlarged and you will be able to see multiple hyper or hypoechic nodule within the liver parenchyma. The second differential is hepatoma that is a liver cancer and because of hepatoma, liver will also be enlarged. In the third uh, differential, lymphoma is listed. So far, lymphoma is concerned, the primary involvement of the liver is very rare quite often you can see secondary deposits of the lymphoma within the liver parenchyma which may appear as a hypoequic or hypoequic nodule or sometimes it appear as in target nodules. Hepatomegaly or enlarged liver may cause by raised venous pressure. Raised venous pressure can be seen in congestive cardiac failure. In congestive cardiac failure, back pressure of the blood towards the liver causes enlargement of the liver. In constrictive pericarditis, inflammation of the pericardium may result into enlargement of the liver. In tricuspid stenosis, due to the stenosis, the blood reverses towards the liver and as a result, you will see enlargement of the liver. In Bat-Chiari syndrome, hepatic vein get blocked or get narrow because of the blood clot. As a result, backflow of the blood may result and there will be a blockage of the blood channel so as a result you will see that the liver will get enlarged so in neoplastic activity you will definitely see certain space occupying lesion within the liver and uh, it will cause the enlargement of the liver in raised venous pressure there will be definitely some other findings like ascites so because of these uh, common feature you will be able to distinguish and you will be able to diagnose the case whether this is neoplastic activity or this enlargement is because of the raised venous pressure next comes degenerative process degenerative process are two type the one is cirrhosis and another is fatty liver infiltration both are very common in the cirrhosis you can also see at the earlier stage the liver will be enlarged and that is specially alcoholic cirrhosis alcoholic cirrhosis is very common in western countries but cirrhosis because of hepatitis b and c uh, is common in asian culture but uh, so far hepatomegaly is concerned you can see in both cirrhosis especially in alcoholic cirrhosis there will be enlarged liver right from the start till end but in in the hepatitis b or c cirrhotic conditions you will see the liver will shrunk at later stage so far the fatty liver infiltration is uh, concerned fatty accumulation or fatty deposition causes enlargement of the liver which is very common and you have to correlate uh, or clinical correlation with the lipid, lipid profile is very important in myeloproliferative disorders uh, liver will also be enlarged and you will see hepatomegaly because of polycythemia vera polycythemia is a condition in which there is increased 
uh, increasement of the red blood cell which is an abnormal condition and as a result you will see there will be a hepatomegaly and beside there will also be splenomegaly so far myelofibrosis is concerned this is also a condition in which the liver gets also enlarged infective causes for the enlargement of the livers are very common the top one is viral because of the viral infection and uh, serum hepatitis and infectious mononucleosis these are the condition or which particularly involves the liver and as a result liver get in, in, in enlarged secondary to inflammation in bacterial infection like if there is any abscess or brucellosis so liver will also get enlarged because of this bacterial response in protozoal infection amoebic, amoebic liver abscess or malaria uh, and uh, kalazar these are all the protozoal infections in which liver will response and it will get enlarged in parasitic infection high dietic cyst is very common and because of high dietic cyst you will see either small or large cyst within the liver parenchyma and as a result liver get enlarged so these are the infective causes for the enlargement of the liver in storage disorder there will also be hepatomegaly amyloidosis is a condition in which uh, proteins build up in the different organs of the body including heart kidney and liver when you investigate serum protein level so the serum protein level would be high and the liver will also be enlarged so that would be due to amyloidosis the second condition is hemochromatosis it is an inherited disorder iron uh, is uh, overload in in the body and gradually it builds up so storage level within the blood will be increased and serum ferritin level would be high and liver will appear enlarged and ecogenic as well uh, sometime it would appear ecogenic sometime it be will become a hypoequic because of overload of the iron so you have you will have to compare serum ferritin level with it as far as gucher disease is concerned again it is a storage disease so fatty substance started accumulating within the liver within the spleen and especially in the bone as a result multiple fractures may take place so uh, that would be in the gucher disease and fatty substance will be high in um, uh, another disease is like congenital there are certain congenital disorder uh, redel lobe redel lobe is actually a tongue like projection of the anterior edge of the uh, anterior lobe of the liver uh, because of that extra projection liver will look enlarged but this would be because of the renal lobe polycystic polycystic disease polycystic disease uh, mainly involve kidney and there will be grossly enlarged kidney and there would be multiple cysts whenever you come across with polycystic kidney disease always look for the uh, liver as well because in 50 to 60 percent cases rather more than that liver would also be enlarged so in polycystic kidneys the liver would also be enlarged and uh, um, uh, spleen would also uh, kidney would also be enlarged but in both cases you will be able to see multiple cysts in the liver parenchyma and in the splenic parenchyma so these were all about the differential diagnosis for the hepatomegaly and uh, i have explained all these factors and i'm pretty much sure that you will be able to take great care while you are diagnosing all that features and giving your differential because every differential has its own specificity so you can specifically diagnose that this hepatomegaly is caused by either neoplastic activity or degenerative or myeloproliferative disorder infective or storage disease or congenital disease